Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming my first update for my reverse rouge that I'm undertaking this year. So if you guys haven't watched the first video, I will link it up and this will be in a playlist that you can watch. There'll be a whole two videos so far. Well, there's also a project pan, so three videos so far kind of relating to my sort of makeup rehab for this year. But yeah, if you want to go watch that first, it might make more sense. Um, but generally this year I'm aiming to do reverse rouge and also do a year long spending man. So this is my January update and so far I can definitely say the spending man's fine. I haven't bought anything. I think I'm probably still, it's probably quite easy for me at the moment though. Partly because I think I'm still in shock at how much my beauty stash was worth. Like making that inventory and seeing those numbers really did give me a bit of a, oh right I need to do something about this. So I've not been too tempted yet and I've definitely not been tempted by any kind of limited edition things. What I am interested in is that IGK has launched in Space NK in the UK so that that makes it a bit more accessible for me and there's some products there I'd like to try but I have some products from them to test out and I haven't really used them yet so there's no point in buying more until I've used them and yeah it, it, it's going to be there at the end of this year anyway so it's not like it, I've not got that like oh my god I'm missing out if I don't get this right now kind of thing so I don't know what my first proper test for that will be but we shall see. I have unsubscribed from like all the kind of main beauty emails other than Beauty Bay purely because I want some Zoeva brushes and I did say tools were excluded from the no buy and I'm kind of hoping they'll do a discount code at some point that'll let me buy them with a the discount but once I get them I'm going to unsubscribe from the Beauty Bay emails as well. So that's probably helping is that I'm not like checking emails every single day that's showing me stuff and I'm also much more into watching project pan videos and that kind of community here on YouTube at the moment. I've not really been watching kind of new in beauty or haul videos or anything like that so I don't know we'll see. Having said that I don't think there's been any major launches so far. I'm sure they will all kind of kick off a few notches as the year goes on so I'm sure I will be tested but at the moment I'm kind of okay and I think the other reason I'm kind of partly still okay is because I've got so many haul videos still to film so I've got bags of stuff sitting around my house that I haven't opened yet that I haven't filmed and that isn't in my storage so I feel like I've still got new stuff to bring in so I, I don't feel like I'm doing without at the moment so that's going really well so I'm really pleased with how easily the no buy has been so far. Now in terms of reverse rouge I have done really really well with what I've used up this month. So this month I have used up a total of $766.18 worth of makeup. Or not worth of makeup sorry worth of beauty product. Now it sounds like a lot but what I did do was gather all of my samples that I had used and started finishing them. So a lot of things I had like one or two uses in so it was quite easy this month. Because I've not filmed a lot of haul videos as well, I only added in $140.84 worth of things and I didn't buy anything. That was just stuff that I missed when I was doing my original kind of totals, my original inventory, so like stuff that I found in my gym bag and then I got a couple of samples through the mail and things like that. So I didn't spend anything but I did add 100 but it's quite scary that I added like $141 near enough of stuff without buying anything like that was so easily done just finding random things in bags that I'd forgotten about and some samples that came through like it was nothing major but I added up so quickly but the flip side of how quickly it adds up is that it so quickly went as well like I've used up like the best part of $800 over $750 worth of product this month and it doesn't look like anything so I will show you I've got two boxes of stuff that I used up so this is box number one so if you guys can see that there that's the contents of this box. I think like in future I obviously don't expect to use up this amount of product every month so in the future I'll probably talk you through the products that I've used up at the end of every month. There's too many here for me to bore you with. If you want any kind of individual reviews I've been posting I've got an Instagram account that's at rosekeatsmur for makeup rehab um, and I've been posting empties as they've been going along all month so if there's anything you want like in-depth reviews of just like comment in the picture and I'll let you know what I thought of it and then I've also got this lot here so I did use up quite a lot and I also used up some bath products from Lush that obviously dissolved in bath so I don't have them here to show you so I used up a lot and it guess it's like it's two boxes worth but it's barely made a difference it's scary how easily I've used that up and 
it hasn't it doesn't look like it's impacted the volume of stuff that I own at all to have gotten rid of that amount of product which is, is scary and it's obviously because a lot of it was samples and things like that but it kind of highlights how far I've got to go but because I have near enough hit a thousand dollars already I think what I'm going to do is aim for two thousand dollars in the year and you know we'll maybe reassess that depending on how well it continues to go it will obviously slow right down because what I did was I gathered up things that had one use as I said so I got through a lot this month and it is going to slow down but we'll see we'll see what's like achievable within a year and I'm doing 15 in February this month for this month's challenge so I will insert the picture of the 15 products that I'm trying to use up and they add up to I think roughly about $400 just under so that'll be another $400 in February if I do manage it however in February I'm going to be filming as many of my hauls as I can I don't think I'm going to get them all done in one month month but through February March I'm hoping to be up to date with all my hauls and have that all added in but the difference that I made for my totals hair care at the start of January was $1,926.82 I added $30.88 and used $22.35 worth of hair care so that was definitely my smallest category. So my new hair care total is worth $1,935.35. My skincare at the start of January was worth $10,535.22. I added $64.28 worth of skincare and I used up $673.62 worth of skincare, which leaves me with a new skincare total of $9,925.88. So I'm glad that that's under the 10,000. It's probably going to go back over the 10,000 once I add things that I bought on, but hopefully I think skincare is the thing I'm going to use most. So I'm hoping that's the one I can get most of a difference and most like under control this year. Then makeup at the start of January was $16,506.45 I added in $45.68 worth and I used up $70.21 worth which takes me to a new makeup total of being worth $16,481.92 makeup as well like I think I've really realised like I don't use up makeup and I, I also this month have circled in my diary all the days that I wore makeup and it's it's not even half the month. Um, January's maybe a little bit different because it's been a bit more chilled but like I'm going to do the same thing in February but I think it's it's almost every second day that I wear makeup. It's not every day so there's no need for me to have that much makeup to start with but it's also the thing I'm not going to go through so it's the thing I need to stop buying when it's the thing that I've bought the most in the past so I need to learn that and I need to take that forward but at the start of January my entire beauty stash was worth $28,968.49. I added $140.84 worth of product, took away $766.18 worth of product. My new total is $28,343.15. That's quite, you know, to use up 766 in a month, quite happy with. I'm not expecting it every month, but it would be nice, but it's not realistic. Um, but it's been a really good start. I feel very motivated to keep going I have started a project pan I'm not gonna lie I'm only like a month in I'm like oh I regret this because I can't see any difference a month in but we'll keep going anyway and then I do have my little 15 in Feb project pan that I have going on I do want to do makeup challenges as well because I did say in my introductory video that I know it's going to be skincare that I use up like I, I knew that was going to be the case but what I'd like to do is get more in touch with my makeup collection I feel until I have filmed everything that I can't start moving things about and trying to change things for challenges because I really want to play about with my storage and you know kind of do different things with that as part of them but what I am going to try and do this month is as I'm filming hauls like use the products from them so that I'm using new products and you know getting opinions on new products rather than just filming something and putting it into my my storage that you can see behind me and um, so today I've actually got on the Colourpop lippy sticks in the shade Secret Stash and also the Colourpop lip liner kind of thing what that was called there in the shade Ladybug so I'm actually really enjoying these I used these technically in Florida when I bought them but then they've been in a box to be filmed so I haven't used them up till now but yeah I'm really liking them so that is going to I think be my sort of mini challenge in February is just to use things as I film them so that I'm not just filming things and putting them away and forgetting about them and then once I've filmed everything 
I'm going to start doing things like makeup baskets and a palette a week and things like that. But yeah, that has been my January update for my reverse rouge and makeup rehab journey. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Let me know what you're doing to change your makeup habits this year or your beauty buying habits this year. Like, are you doing project pans? You know, are you on a spending ban? What are your tips for getting through a spending ban if you've done one before or what's helping you at the moment? Like, Honestly, all advice is very much appreciated. Let me know as well if you are a YouTuber, if you have your own channel down below, if you're doing like project pan videos and things like that, because that is, that's what I'm trying to consume at the moment and surround myself with, rather than, you know, the haul videos and the new end videos. I'm really trying to be in the mindset of what I'm trying to do and surround myself with that kind of content. So do let me know if you have a YouTube channel and you do that kind of stuff. Um, I'm looking for lots more to subscribe to. So thank you very much for watching this and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye!